Hello? Michael, I was going to call you. It's done. It was awful, but it's over now. Okay, bye. Underdressed again. What's happening, guys? Who's the body? You know the routine, Terry. Talk to the media unit. Hayden and Vance. Hey, please. I need to get in. Well, the constable can't let you through yet. Just give me your details for now. Morning. You just come off a murder suicide, sir. Yeah, well, no time to recharge the batteries, I'm afraid. Is Fisk here? Yes, uh, this lady found the body just after seven. Do you have an ID? Minor celebrity, apparently. You won't need me to pick cause of death. No. He's been dead about 10 to 14 hours. Can't place the face. No. Oh, it's Wayne Pascal, the footballer. Oh, he used to be a client of ours. Uh, we're in promotions, advertisements, product launches, that sort of thing. Uh, this is Miss... Uh... Uh, Frickberg, Susan Frickberg, I'm to IC here. And this is the boss. This is Anita Black. And Fisk found her handbag next to the body. Is she around? No sign of her yet. What, the building's been searched? Top to bottom. What about her place? Anybody been around to check? She lives upstairs, a six-floor apartment. Fisk has more for you on that score. And where is he? Third floor. That's where the offices are. You're going to have to use the fire stairs. My knees have had the tour, so... Hey, you met the footballer? We did. What do you got for us, Fisk? Well, there's going to be a very long report indeed. There is significant evidence that needs, uh, that needs a lot of analysis. See these blood, the blood spatters here, and here, and the spray pattern there. Now it all indicates that the attack was initiated on this floor here. We've got a, a great set of prints from the blood smears on the lift button. In fact, there's prints everywhere. Have you checked the officers over here? Now up, Tessa, up, 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 up. The game's up. Right. This is Anita Black's apartment. We haven't dusted yet, so please touch nothing. Hands in pockets, thank you. Now, someone with blood on them has pushed against this door. Swing it open. Wayne Pascal's blood? No, no, well, we'll have it analysed, but I think you'll find it does not belong to our footballer. He died in the lift where he was stabbed. Right, step to the right as you go through to the bathroom and wash the floor, please. Don't step in anything. Right, right. Thank you. All right, lights. Thanks, Dave. Ta-da! Oh, that's a lot of blood. Mm. Yes, yeah, so they're trying to mop it up. And this trail starts at the front lift. It's yes, correct. Uh, it comes through the entry hall, leads straight into here. They're not drag marks, and it didn't come off the murder weapon. 
Since that's still in the footballer's chest. No, this is from someone bleeding profusely. And these are black. Ah, oh, she's missing. So it would seem. Lights. Thank you, Dee. Now, we do have a blood-soaked dress. Now, this is the same size as the other items found in the wardrobe. Excuse me. So the attack occurred in the lift. The question is, who attacked who? Well, that I'm afraid I cannot tell you. Bag. Thank you, Dee. Now, either Anita Black has attacked Wayne Pascal Pascal and was injured in the process, or she was defending herself from his attack. Well, whichever way it happened, she was badly injured. Mm. So she comes back up here to try and patch herself up. Yes, there is, a, there is a clean cut in that dress. It's one of several from a very sharp knife. There's a smudge here. It looks like a handprint. Yes, and also there's a, um, there's a knee impression here. Now, what I believe has happened is that Miss Black has stumbled as she's come into the bathroom and she's had to support herself by the door over there. She was in an evening dress, so she was on her way out. Oh, yes, the ballet. We uh, found a ticket in, in the, the handbag. Hand OK. She's on her way out. Wayne Pascal attacks her in the lift. She's stabbed, but she somehow manages to turn the knife on him. On instinct, comes back up here, cleans up, tends to the wound. Why didn't she call an ambulance or the police? Yeah, that's a worry. Why hasn't she called someone? Yeah. Start with the medical centres and hospitals around here and work out. We need details of women admitted with stab wounds. Well, she'd be flat out getting a GP after eight. Yeah. Can you circulate the car as well? Right, the red Lexus. OK, Stan, thank you. Oh, hello. I'm Tessa Vance. Steve Hayden, hi. Have a seat. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm fine, really. Just terribly worried about Anita. You think she's been hurt? Well, it's a possibility. Do you know where she might go to for help? Do you know a doctor? She never mentioned seeing one. She's fanatical about her health. Diet, exercise. <laughs> I've never known her to be sick. And if she was, I doubt she'd admit it to me. What about friends, relatives? Is there anyone she might go to for help? I've no idea. How long have you worked for her? I've been her 2IC for seven years. Seven years and you don't know anything about her? Anita likes her privacy. She keeps that sort of thing to herself, even from me. Is there a better photograph of Anita than this that we might use? That's the only shot of her I've ever seen. Anita is positively phobic about cameras. How well did you know the footballer? Wayne Pascal. I've seen enough of him. He's been on Anita's books for years, a bad debtor, but Anita had a soft spot for him. Was he still playing football? Lord, no, that's his problem. After his sports career ended, his celebrity career never got started. He's bitter and twisted with the capital B, capital T. You blamed Anita for that? It certainly did yesterday. Anita finally decided to drop him as a client. They had the most appalling row. The whole floor heard it. It's awful. Now, the largest slash is to the upper thigh. Now, I put my money on a backhand stroke left to right. Now, there's a, um, uh, a blood spatter on the lift wall. Now, the blood on the lift wall does not match the blood type of the footballers, but it does match the blood type we found in the apartment. So it's Anita's blood? Yes, well, that's the theory, yes. Fisk, here too? Yes. Yes, there's a slash, obviously, here to the lower abdomen. There are also stab wounds here in, in, in the thigh. In that condition, she wouldn't get far, surely? No. Well, we've checked every local private and metropolitan hospital for stab wounds, and we have two men involved in different pub brawls, one guy whose wife ran into him with a knife, a woman stabbed in a domestic, we already checked, it's not Anita, and a male taxi driver with facial cuts. So where is she? Well, perhaps she's gone to a friend. Who did she go to the ballet with? And maybe they helped her. Well, there's no indication she went with anyone. There was no other ticket. And this is a woman who cares about her appearance. I mean, she's going to get the best help possible. We're not taking first aid here. OK, up and at them. All right. Now, assuming she's still alive, I want to see Anita Black. And I want to see her in the interview room before I see her in the tabloids. Um, perhaps this, uh, this might help. It was uh, found in the lift next to the body. A button. Could that belong to Anita? No, it looks like it's from a man's suit. The victim? Well, no, that's what I first thought. But uh, it doesn't match any of the, uh, the clothing of a footballer. Also... The button was found on the blood, not under it. 
and the blood had coagulated around the button. So that button fell after the blood was spilt, but before the clotting process has proceeded far. Conclusions? Please. Well, come on, use your head, use your head. During the fight, or at some time thereafter, I believe we had a third person in the lift. I've got the keys to black and red, yeah. So Susan, that's all, apart from Anita. Mm -hmm. You were the last one out. About 6.30, Anita went up to her apartment. I did a quick swing through the offices, then locked up. What were you wearing yesterday at work? Ah, uh, this, pretty much. Um, a red shirt, black pants, white socks. Uh, Nita asked us all to wear the colours. Do you want a brown suit? I don't own any suits. What'd you do after you locked up? I went home. Anyone with you? No. Afraid not. But I, I can tell you I was at home when all this happened. You're an ex-ambulance man, Rory. Yeah. What'd you do at Black and Red? Or oh, whatever needed to be done. Courier work, heavy lifting, I'm the only guy in the company. Must make you indispensable. Uh, Susan Frickberg wouldn't think so. Anita would. Mm -hmm. You got on with Anita. I never worked with anyone like her. She's perfect. Mm. Yeah. And you know what's happened to Anita? Where she is? We're on to it. Do you know her GP? No. Did she have a boyfriend? No. She didn't. Uh huh. What about the footballer? You know him? One was a drop kick. Did you hear the fight he and Anita had yesterday? Yeah. I hung around for a bit. He sounded pretty nasty. After all, Anita's done for him. Susan Frickbird said he was a lost cause. <laughs> well, at least she got that right. Anita, she never gave up on anyone. I think she liked Wayne in a way. But Susan, she hated the guy. She hated the guy with a passion. Wayne was utterly charmless. Anita seems to have been charmed by him. Please, don't imply they were lovers. Anita likes to help the underdog, that's all. And they don't come doggier than Wayne. What about a boyfriend? She's an attractive, well-connected woman. There must have been men in her life. Hmm. She's never showed anyone off. What about in the past, in Old Flame? As I said, Anita likes her private life kept private. We believe there was a third person in the lift last night, either during or soon after the fight. Do you know who that might have been? Can't help you, I'm afraid. Anita was on her way to the ballet. There was a ticket in her purse. Who did she usually take to the ballet? Hmm, I think she went alone sometimes, but honestly, I wouldn't know. There must have been um, functions for work. Who did she usually take them? <laughs> she takes me, detective. I'm forever on the networking treadmill. Shaking hands, bending ears. Anita likes to hover mysteriously in the background. And you disapprove? <laughs> Such a waste. Anita's brilliant, but she's not ambitious. We could be three times the company we are now. Take on the big players from overseas. But Anita won't put herself about nearly enough. You do that for her. I've kicked a few goals. I think even Anita would give me that. We'll have clients dropping out once the media gets hold of this. Not an easy story to keep a lid on. Dealing with the media is half Anita's job. She'd manage it. Oh, I've got work to do. May I get into the building now? If you stick to the third floor. Well, I'll come too. I've got some things to do myself. Just stay out of my way, Rory. These are footballers. Wayne Pascal, yes. Huge. Oh, how can you stand that pong? Chlorine bacterium, it's a tenacious little fungus, actually gets under the skin in between the toes. The fatty acid compounds cause the odour. Yeah, all right. Hey, you get all the best jobs, don't you? Sure, that's dirt and not... D. Wayne Pascal was huge, wasn't he? Yeah, it helps for a footballer, I believe. Yeah, right, but imagine being stuck in a lift with him while he was going off his brain with a knife. Mm. If that had been me, I would have ended up dead for sure. Now, Wayne ending up dead, that had to be some kind of fluke, didn't it? I'm called a fluke, Constable. Miss Black is probably bleeding to death somewhere. Now, the size, shape and colour have similarities. I'll have to get a 
Saw the analysis done, but it looks like we've got a match. Oh, obviously that's good. That is excellent, Constable Suzerain. It can tell us that the footballer was hiding in the men's room and had to stand on the toilet to avoid being seen. Huh, lucky he had so much dirt on his shoes. Luck. <laughs> Constable, luck has nothing to do with it. No, no, of course not. Excellent work, Sergeant. Fisk's found soil traces on the toilet seat in the men's room. Matches grit on the footballer's shoes. He hid them there until everyone had left. Mm. Check this out. She said for a funeral. What does she wear to a wedding? <laughs> you know, Fisk is right about the extent of Anita's wounds. She has to have sought medical attention somewhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe the third person in the lift. Possibly, but it still doesn't explain why she hasn't called anyone. Maybe she can't. Maybe somebody's stopping her. I think we should have another look around her apartment and her office. Yeah. Our investigations are ongoing and I have no comment at this stage. How many times did she stab him? Aren't they missing you at the pub yet, Terry? <laughs> you shouldn't have. Thank you. Anita, darling, all my love always. There's no name. Any ideas? The cards are always anonymous. They arrive every two weeks, but I really have no idea who they're from. You said that Anita Black had no lover? I said I know of none. You don't even know if Anita's alive or dead? And you're worried about some nutter sending her carnations. I wonder if Anita mixed pleasure with business. Anita had an admirer, that's all I know. Perhaps it was platonic. Though she did sometimes mention the odd weekend away in the mountains. When was the last time? About a month ago. It sounded like a resort of some kind. But I never pressed for details. Like I said, she was very discreet. OK, thank you very much. Flora says the flowers were ordered yesterday, paid for with cash. She couldn't recall the customer. Or with different handwriting. Ah. Florist's handwriting. Just for being you. Why would Anita never tell anyone about her admirer? Because he could be tremendously famous, mm -hmm. or tremendously married, or maybe he just likes sending flowers. Yeah, every two weeks. Sure, why not? Well, it's a bit obsessive. Are you working from personal experience here, Tess? Or have you just been hanging out with the wrong guys? I'm just looking for a motive. Okay, all right. Well, maybe the admirer is persistent then. Obsessive. Maybe it's a spurned lover who owns a brown suit with one button missing. You know, it's ridiculous. We know so many details about her. We know what dress size she wore, what books she read. With a fondness for caramel butters. But none of it matters because we don't have a single important fact about her to work with. All right, look, I'm going to go back to the office and start working through some of these cards. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll also try and get onto the mountain resorts and see if we can't shed any light on a missing woman. Yeah. See you. Bye. Won't be like her. My Look business plans are none of your business. I think they are. This is my future on the line. Sorry to interrupt. Um, can I speak to you for a moment? Anita made a note in her appointment book yesterday. Doc, lunch. Can you shed some light on that? No, I can't. This is a murder investigation, Rory. If you know anything, you're 
Not done. We have to find Anita. Any information you have could help lead us to her. I've got it. I think I know who Anita Black's mystery man is. Dr. Dr. Michael, Michael Darwin. Darwin. I've had a visit. Political minders from the minister. Anita Black and he are old friends. They had lunch together yesterday. Anita worked very closely with the doctor before he went into politics. Uh, she was a kingmaker and he was a media medicine man. Right, but that's all in the past, I suppose. Yeah, in the past. We have to talk to him. Oh, well, what? Detectives walking into Parliament House? No, I don't think so. If he was having an affair with Anita Black, we have to talk to him. And that's the reason he's come forward, of course. Delivering a statement that specifically denies it. Yeah, well, of course he denies it. What's he going to say? He doesn't want a scandal. Steve, you saw the flowers? He's had a medical background, so she's probably gone to him for help, and, and now she can't come forward because it might embarrass him. What else have you got, Tessa? He could have even been there last night. Can I at least check out his brown suits? Look, I'll be the first to knock on Michael Darwin's door when you come up with something solid, some evidence, but until then, I do not want to see his happy snap on your notice board. What have we got? How'd you go with the florists? Drew a blank. Some have vague memories. But nothing concrete. What about the weekends in the mountains? I found one place that remembered her, but she checked in alone. Yeah, well, the lover would have checked in later. I've got dates, but it won't mean anything. It's ridiculous. We've got a dead man. We've got a missing woman who's badly injured, if not dead. We've got more physical evidence than we know what to do with, and our hands are completely tied. We should be speaking to Darwin. A seat in cabinet shouldn't shield you from a murder investigation. And it won't in the long run. But you can't blame Thorne for playing in the big league, all right? Thorne wants us to have Darwin on a platter before we can even talk to him. <laughs> if he's there to be got, we'll get him. Who are you going to get? Someone we can't even mention? It's a challenge. <laughs> hey, bouncing those theories off the walls, guys. Long day, Dee. I've scheduled a footballer's autopsy for first thing in the morning. Maybe something from that will help? Ah, yes. Well, perhaps he swallowed a suicide note before stabbing himself. I'm sure you'll extricate it from his stomach contents. <laughs> Problem solved. I think I might be going. No! You've got a secret. Something juicy, I hope. Rumour has it that um, two expensive suits descended on Thorn today. Want to shed any light on that one, Hayden? News to us, Fizz. Oh, no, 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 no. Just, uh... Just cough if I'm getting warm. Let me see. Um, big businessman? Lots of barristers in train? Politician? Could you take a hand glance? Fair enough. If Anita Black hasn't been treated by now, she's probably dead. Or in hiding, or being held. as an ex-footballer end up in a political minefield. Same way you or I do. Really rotten luck. Oh, it's frustrating, isn't it? Being hamstrung. Not being able to do your job the way you want to. Yeah, it is. Nobody's ever honest with you. Nobody ever says, we don't want you pursuing that line of inquiry. Be discreet. Avoid unnecessary embarrassment. What does that mean? Do you really think that this politician has got something to do with Wayne Pascal's murder? I knew the missing woman. There was a third person in the lift. That's enough to make me want to bring him in and talk to him. Mm. It was late. 
We got work to do. Um, being here alone at night, how do you do that? Vance? What's the matter? I thought you would have called by now. Yeah, well, I thought I'd let you sleep tonight. Oh, you old bitch. Listen, I've been thinking. That footballer, maybe he was a patsy set up to look like the angry assailant. Well, somebody else took care of Anita. The third person in the lift? You know, I've had the usual traces out. Births, deaths, marriages, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. I drew a blank. Anita Black doesn't even have a Medicare number or any private health insurance. It's unusual. Although Susan said she was healthy. What? She doesn't even get the flu? Look, she's got bank accounts, but no next of kin, no siblings, no mum and dad, no nothing. Maybe not in this country. Yes, exactly. It's like she doesn't even exist. Steve. The media's on to Darwin. Information that Cabinet Minister Michael Darwin lunched with Miss Black hours before the incident, which had the opposition's tongues wagging. Of course, I'm a, I'm a very good friend of Miss Black, uh, as is my wife. We're both shocked by her disappearance and the and the, uh, the tragic circumstances. I have already been in touch with the police and uh, reported everything that I know. Unfortunately, I fear that uh, none of it is, is particularly relevant to these current terrible events. All right, which one of you is playing deep throat? <clears throat> Wasn't us, sir. I wouldn't dream. My phone's been running hot since the Darwin angle hit the wire surfaces last night. I had no idea that so many political heavyweights had my number. And if I find out that someone's leaked this to the press... Well, besides Tessa and I, who knew that Darwin was involved? Well, Malcolm, of course. Oh, you, of course. I'll assume that that's some sort of wild stab at humour. OK. Someone wanted Darwin flushed out. Why? Well, possibly for the same reasons we wanted to talk to him. Someone from the Red and Black Agency, perhaps? They got their wish. Maybe I pushed Rory a little too hard. Well, it's all very tragic for Dr Darwin, sir, but at least the cuffs are off us. Why don't we use the chance to go and talk to him? Thorn. OK. Someone's calling in with information. Thorn. Yes, this is Anita Black. Anita! <coughs> Where are you? I, I, I don't know. It's quiet. A bit cold. I've been blindfolded. I had to call to let you know I'm all right. And to tell you that Michael Darwin had nothing to do with this. Uh, Anita, this is Detective Vance speaking. Uh, are you alone? There's a man. He says... He says he loves me. He's treating me well. You were injured. I've been attended to. Uh, the wound on your back. From the look of your blouse, it was serious. I was wearing an evening dress, Detective, and there was no back wound. Uh, the man you're with, um, is he the one that was with I'm you? Going out. Anita. We used to say it's not what you know, but who you know. These days, it's more a matter of. Who do you think? How old is this interview? At six weeks. On the contrary, there's always something I can do to polish up an image. Or build a new one if I have to. Is anyone ever a lost cause? I think the raw material has to be there, Richard. But image is rarely an accident of nature. Is that the woman? Damn good impression if it isn't. The voice and intonation are right, aren't they? Yeah. I'd say the details you knew about the dress and the stab wounds confirm it. Why would Anita single out Darwin specifically in her message? Why not Susan or Rory? Maybe she was forced to say she wasn't with Darwin. Stop us looking at him too closely. Mm. If Darwin had a hidden agenda, abduction hardly suits, does it? Mm. However, you'll be pleased to know that I have decided to ask the minister for some of his time. Oh, right, when can we see him? Oh, you don't. I don't want you even smiling at him. He's a big fish. He nibbles higher up the food chain. I'll do it.
Ja, respekt och så. Thank you for coming. Ja, What time did you and Anita part company? She left about 2.30, she took a taxi. Over lunch, did Anita appear worried, distressed? Not really. Not really? Just a little bit then? Anita mentioned that she had to ditch a client later that afternoon. She obviously wasn't looking forward to it. She mentioned any names? Of course not, that would be unprofessional. Have you ever lunched out of town with Anita? On occasion, yes. Up the mountains? Not that I recall, no. Have you ever stayed away overnight with Anita? Years ago, we used to travel together on business-related matters. It was strictly professional. Minister, the 7th and 8th of last month, uh, a weekend. Can you tell me where you were? 7th? It was the middle of a sitting period. I would have been in my office. It gets busy. I bet his miners will back him on that one, too. I would have to check my diary to confirm. Is it important? The footballer next. Do you know a footballer? Wayne Pascal, now deceased. I've seen him play, of course. Have you ever met Wayne? Through Anita, perhaps? I've met a lot of sportsmen. I don't honestly recall bumping into Mr. Pascal. Uh, I've certainly had no dealings with him. Doctor, thank you for your time. Do you notice anything unusual? Apart from the stab wound to the heart, no. Look at him. His physique. Well, he was a professional football player, so he would have kept on working out after he left the game. It'd be a habit. A habit. That's what I think. Look at the muscle definition, the size. And there's another thing. The testicles. They're tiny. Aren't they? Yes, yes, footballers, what I always suspected. Don't generalise. This is a very specific side effect. Oh, yes, of course, the well-known scientific condition, raisin nuts. Anabolic steroid abuse, regular and prolonged. Is that a theory? Nope. I took the liberty of sending off some blood and urine samples for analysis yesterday. Our subject was zinging along on the things. Good Lord. Give his blood to a rat and it'd bench press a Volkswagen. Do you know, they say that he was very moody. Steroids can do that, can't they? Well, yeah, that and more. A man this strong in a steroid rage? He'd be capable of anything. If Anita Black survived that sort of attack, I want the number of her trainer. So she got lucky, or else the third person in the lift was friend, not foe. Mm -hmm. You're the detective. I'm just telling you about hormones. If you find any computer discs, I'd like a squeeze. I think Anita at least owes me that. What do you mean? No, I never pushed her for anything. Despite the fact that it was me that kept this company going at all. I never asked about her affairs, nothing. So you think Dr. Darwin's tied up in this? It's about him. Oh, it's about him and all the other little mysteries Anita keeps from me. Did you give the, uh, the Darwin story to the media? <laughs> yeah. I warned Rory. I told him not to mention Darwin to anyone, and the little cretin told the world. Do you think Darwin's Anita's lover? No, oh, the flower man. Yeah, I think so. Oh, Rory does too, but he's such a little lapdog, he can't bring himself to admit it. So why hush it up? Business reasons. But Darwin's not on your client list. Oh, but he was going to be. I was so close to getting that account. You were going to take Anita's clients and start up on your own? 
I should have been a partner. She promised me years ago, but she's so damn secretive. She shuts me out while she moves around the scenes, tying up the deals. Oh, I wanted this. The apartment, the views, the fame, the credit for what I do. I deserved it. Right here, why? What are you thinking? What about private hospitals? Tess, my entire day has been full of questions with no answers. Don't start, all right? That's exactly it. No answers because we've been asking the wrong questions. What are you getting at? Feel like a drive? Why not? You were going to end up with much egg on face if you're wrong about this. I'll risk it. Scrambled or fried. Mr. Blair? Andrew Blair? Anita? Yes, I prefer Anita. But you knew that. And then he started slashing at me with the knife. It felt like a dream. Part of me was screaming, this is really happening. You fought him? I just grabbed for the knife. He slipped and I pushed and pushed. Afterwards, I knew I had to get help and I couldn't go dressed the way I was. People would know. I take the hormones, but I haven't had the operation. I had to turn back into Andrew Blair. I haven't done that in a very long time. I keep a spare suit just in case. You never know. It's a bit unfashionable now. It's been a while since I wore it. How long have you been Anita? Forever. It just seemed to get easier as the years went by. It was the way it was meant to be. It felt natural for me. And you became Anita full-time in 82? Yeah, I thought so. I, I couldn't find any record of you prior to that time. That's when I started in PR. I did so well at my work. I loved it. I'd never let it go. But I have to keep a certain distance from acquaintances and friends. That's the hard part. Friendship is about sharing secrets and mine just aren't for sharing. It must have been hard on Susan. She wanted more. 
What about the phone call to us and the abduction? That was to clear Michael Darwin, that's all. We go back quite a way. I could get close to Michael. He was so very married and so careful about his career. No chance he'd want more than a long chat over lunch. I'll have to have a good story for Michael. Now, uh, we're going to have to charge you. The facts will come out and there is no way of stopping that. But I thought... I'm sorry. Rory Coombs here. But not dressed. What am I going to say? It was when Tootsie mentioned the hall module, it triggered something. It got me thinking about Anita's bathroom cabinet. She was so perfectly feminine, so groomed, organised. She had spare soap, tissues, everything. But no sign of a monthly cycle, no pads or anything. What about the politician? Where does he stand now? The long-time buddy of a transvestite manslaughter. Actually, there's probably room for one of those in cabinet. <laughs> Send herself flowers. <laughs> 